Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to customize the global container styles in Breakdance. You find those at the dot 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 menu under global settings and then containers. First, we'll go into sections. Here we can customize the default section container width. By default, Breakdance sets this to 1120 pixels, and we don't recommend you touch this. 1120 pixels is the ideal width for almost all types of websites, so you really better have a good reason to change it if you're going to. Maybe you're building a blog website and 1120 pixels is just too wide for the uh, reading width. So let's say we set our container width to 800 pixels. And as you can see, the section is constrained to be 800 pixels wide, the section's content. We can also customize the default section vertical padding. Uh, for example, we could set this to 20 or we could set this to 200. We can also customize the horizontal padding. In Breakdance, by default, the horizontal padding is 20 pixels. Again, we don't recommend you touch the horizontal padding because 20 pixels is an ideal amount of horizontal padding on all devices. But if you wanted to, for example, to make it 100, that's what it would look like. But let's go ahead and set that back to the default. We can also customize the default column back, column gap. So here I have two columns, and let's change default column gap to 100. And now there's 100 pixels of gap between the uh, two columns. Okay, that is how to customize the global settings or containers in Breakdance.